we're going to do today is clean up this PlayStation 3. I've had it for 10 years now and, and during that period I've not cleaned it at all. One of the reasons why I will be cleaning it is because at the moment it's quite loud when I'm playing games or just watching films or streaming stuff online. It sounds like a jet engine taking off. I have seen online some things you can do to um, stop this noisy jet engine sound like coming from the machine. One of those things is to power the machine off, unplug it, then hold down on this button here, the eject button, and whilst holding it down, plug in the power and uh, it will start a fan riding system and it should blow out all the dust. But with 10 years worth of dust and grime or whatever else is in there, I think it's best to just to take it apart and give it a clean properly. So let's get started. So I'm just going to turn it over. You can see one of the grippers here has already disappeared. Uh, I don't know where that's gone. Let's take a closer look. Can't see the date of manufacture, uh, but it does say date code 9C. I don't know what that is, but um, I'll find that out later. Well, let's find out now. Date code 9C means that it was produced between July and September 2009. Let's get started. OK, we'll start by removing the caps that cover the screws. Thing. That's just a dummy one there. And then it's time to remove the screws. These are long screws, roughly two inches in length. Oops. Take it off. There's three more hidden screws here. These three screws are not the same as the others. They are much smaller and you will need a torque screwdriver to remove them. Approximate size is T8. All the screws are out now, so I'm just going to turn it over. This procedure should be fairly straightforward, but it isn't. A little bit tough. Let's try a different approach. These are not designed to be taken apart. So right here we have the warranty label and under here is a hidden screw. Let's take that off. Here we go. See, my uh, warranty is now void. Voila. That's 
for a big one. Now let's get this off. See already with the dust. Loads of dust here. It's quite dusty inside. See the fan. This fan is well clogged up. It's just two screws holding it in. very dusty it's very very dusty so I'm gonna clean in between these blades and uh, give all this a good clean out as well just get a closer look in there it's where the dust where the blows air into there also there's too much dust clustering it clogging it up This really is dusty. I'm just cleaning the drive entrance here as the dust just sticks to it. So I've just cleaned a few of the blades here. You can see how the dust just sticks to it. And now with it all cleaned up, you can see how much better it is. So it's not 100% clean, but I'd say I'd give it a good 95%, which is good enough for me. Okay, I'm going to put the fan back in. I'm just going to clean all the dust off here as well. It's pretty thick on there. So that's the base pretty much done. Um, again, it's not 100%, but I think it's a lot better than it was. I've blown most of the dust out. Put that underneath. I'm satisfied with that. And now for the top cover, or the inside of the top cover. That looks a lot better now. So we're pretty much done, so I'm going to get it back together again. Absolutely run the right way though, doesn't it? Right. Okay, let's put the screws back in. the screws are in, let's put the caps back on, ok 
Okay, they're all back in apart from this one, which is went missing whenever that was. Let's give it some white. I think that's looking a lot better than it was. So what I'll do later on, I plan to watch a couple of films and I'll see what happens with the noise. So it's 10 hours later and I've given it another go and I've noticed a vast improvement. So whilst it's not completely silent, it never would be, I don't get the jet engine sound like I used to, which I think is a bit of a result. So I'd say it's definitely something to try if you're experiencing the same problem. Sure, it's an old machine and you could buy something new or another PS3 for £50, £60. Pounds. It doesn't matter. In conclusion, it only took me an hour and a half to take this apart, give it the clean and put it back together again. And that's including filming this video. I imagine it would only take about 30 minutes to 60 minutes to give this a thorough clean. So, thanks for watching today. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon.